Send Me Promotional Ministry on Blog Talk Radio. You can promote your events with us by sending it to info at sendme.org.uk or you can visit us on the web at www.sendme.eventpages.org. You're listening to Pastor Chidi Okori. Welcome to Send Me.
listening to the sounds of Equity Band from Kingston, Jamaica.
gospel.org. We are a promotional ministry. We promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you're a gospel artist or a church and you have an upcoming event and you'd like to promote it on our program, you can just send your flyer to info at sendme.org.uk. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Sit back and enjoy the program. Right, today we'll be joined by Pastor G.P. Okori, and he will be speaking on the topic of freedom in the Word of God. Pastor Okori, when you say the freedom in the Word of God, what, what do you mean? Do you mean how the Word of God is free, or the freedom one experiences once they know the Word of God? Actually, sin without freedom experience, knowing the word of God, how the word of God makes you free. Because the Bible said, and you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. truth shall make you free. There is a difference between setting you free. A man is in prison and his documents a document was signed on his behalf to be free and the man does not know that he is a free man remains even though the document that certifies his freedom has been signed, he will until he knows as soon as that knowledge comes to him, he gets himself out of prison. He's a nice he is now set free. Document. The document sets him free, and his knowledge makes him free. So that's what the word actually does for us. It, it, it takes you out of a state of bondage. Good day! Good day! Exactly. It makes you free. Thou shalt know the truth. The Bible, Jesus said, the way, the truth, and the life. So, when you know Jesus, when you know the Word of God, the knowledge in that Word makes you free. But you have been set free maybe 2,000, 3,000 years ago. So your knowledge now makes you free. Praise God. I pray that in Jesus' name you will understand this word and let God speak to your heart as I open my mouth. Let your heart be touched and let my listeners, those that will listen to me, be free as they listen to this word of God. According to the book of John chapter 8 and from verse 31, I'm going to read from the Living Bible, paraphrased. Jesus said to them, You are truly my disciples if you live as I tell you to. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I'm going to read from that 31 to verse 40.
But we are descendants of Abraham. Verse 33, they said, and have never been slaves to any man on earth. What do you mean, set free? Jesus replied, you are slaves of sin, every one of you. And slaves don't have rights, or the son have every right there is. So if the son sets you free, you will indeed be free. Yes, I realize that you are descendants of Abraham. And yet some of you are trying to kill me because my message yes. does not find yes. a home within your heart. I'm telling you what I saw when I was with my father. But you are following the advice of your father. Our father is Abraham, they declared. No, oh, Jesus replied. For if he were, you would follow his good examples. But instead, you are trying to kill me. And all because I told you the truth I heard from God. Abraham wouldn't do anything like that. No, you are obeying your real father when you act that way. They replied, we are not born out of wedlock. Our true father is God himself. Jesus told them, if they were so, if that were so, then you would love me. For I have come to you from God. I am not here on my own. But he sent me. Why can't you understand what I am saying? It is because you are prevented from doing so. For you are the children of your father, the devil. And you love to do the evil things. He does. He was a murderer from the beginning and the hater of truth. There is not an iota of truth in him. When he lies, it is perfectly normal. For he is the father of all liars. And so when I tell the truth, you just naturally don't believe it. Praise God. I read John chapter 8 from verse 31 to 46. And I used the Living Bible paraphrased. So today, as we were discussing earlier, the freedom in the Word of God, the truth that sets you free, the truth that makes you free. Jesus said, You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. Some translations said, the truth shall set you free. But the real word there is to make you free. Because Jesus, the day he came and died and resurrected for our sin, that was the day you were set free. The day he paid the price of sin and that cross of Calvary, that you will be free, was the day you were set free. But the same word of God, when you come in contact with that knowledge, makes you free. Hallelujah. It makes you free and free from every form of sin. Some of us struggle with different types of habits that leads to death. Different types of sin that leads to death. Because we don't know the freedom in the world of God. That is why you are still struggling. You are still in that prison, in that bondage, you are still bound because you don't know the truth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, He is the truth, He is the way, and He is the life. If you want to experience this true world, this undivided world, this world that has been tested 
The Bible said that this word of God has been tested seven times. It has been perfectly tested. And it is the word of perfection. The perfect word of God. When you come in contact with this word of God, it makes you free. I don't care how far you have gone deep in that sin. It might be lying. The Bible said that devil, devil is the father of all liars. If you are still a liar, you are in the camp of the devil. I don't care what you call yourself. If you still find yourself lying, <clears throat> then you are in prison. If you still find yourself fornicating, then you are in prison. If you still find yourself drinking and getting drunk, you are in prison. You need freedom. If you still find yourself taking drugs, taking cocaine, taking excesses, taking things that will make you high, listen, you are in a prison. I know you are looking for joy. I know you are looking for happiness, but that cannot be found except in Christ. And that is the truth. That is the truth that will set you free today. You have been set free, but you need to know, you need to understand, you need to come to the full knowledge of this of that prison. You shall know the truth. And the truth will make you free. Today, if you want to come out of that drunkenness, you need the word of God. It is the word that set me free. And the same word can do the same for you today. It can liberate you. It can take you out, out of that prison. That chains of affliction. In the book of Isaiah, it is called the chains of affliction. The chains of affliction. And the cords of wickedness. That is what the enemy uses to bind people. It keeps you going. It keeps you going. It might be gambling. It keeps you. It keeps on taking you in, taking you in, taking you in until you cannot come out anymore. You need Christ today. <laughs> you need Christ. You need Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died and resurrected, who is capable of setting you free. And thou shalt know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Shall set you free and take you out of every wickedness. Every wickedness, every wickedness, if it is killing, yes. stealing, destroying, that is the work of the devil. And maybe you are carrying this one for long, but today is a day of freedom. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You shall understand, you shall come to the the understanding of the power of God. The same power that resurrected Jesus from death and raise you and bring you out of that pit today and take you out of take you out of drugs can take you out of killing can take you out of stealing and destruction today mm -hmm. the same world you shall come in contact with this world and it will make you free mm -hmm. in the other way maybe you are sick and you don't know that there is a healing for you there is a healing that is going on for you that is why you still remain in that bondage yes it is called this is disease you're supposed to be at ease but something is interrupting that ease something make it this ease 
and then you are sick, there is fruit that will set you free today. There is word. He said, I send forth my word and it healeth you. The word is capable of healing. The word is capable of setting you free from that cancer, from that HIV, from that disease, that chronic disease, liver problem, kidney problem, no matter what you think it is, the word of God is capable of setting you free. And by the reason of this word, I declare freedom today in your family. I declare freedom today in your heart. I declare freedom today that you receive the word and it will heal that cancer, that disease that has kept you for years. By the power of God, the same power that resurrected Jesus from death is healing you right now. You shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. Take this word and run for your life. That prison, you can come out of it. That prison, you can come out of it. Just know the word. Just come in contact with Jesus Christ. The living word of God Today, my friend, I want you to understand that there is no freedom in the world, no matter how they tell you you are free. You can be walking up and down, that does not mean that you are free. You can be going up and down, going to your work, going to your house, not having any problem with the law, that does not mean you are free. There are many free bounds today. <laughs> Just like a living corpse, people walking around professing they are alive, but they are dead already. Today, you can set yourself free. You can set yourself free by coming in contact with the Word of God. The devil will not want you to do this. He will keep on pumping. He will keep on pushing you to the extreme. To push you to anger. Push you to malice. Push you to jealous. Push you to, to many things that leads to death. But you can decide to set yourself free. Come to Jesus. Come to the word of God. Know the word of God and you will be free. The same verse we read in verse 39. They began to wonder, Our father is Abraham. They declared. They said, Why is our father Abraham? And you are telling us that we are slaves. Because Jesus does not mean physically slave. He means spiritually. Your soul, your mind is bound. And that is the reason why some people, you might think money is your problem, but that is not true. And you get the whole money, yet you want to die. You are tired of life. Who is behind it? Because there is a master of evil That is Satan The wicked one He wants you to be depressed He wants you to kill yourself Because you are in his camp You are in his prison So many people Kept on taking drugs Taking drugs Until they kill themselves Until they commit suicide Why? Because they are in the prison Of the devil The Bible said he is a prisoner. He is a man that does not allow his prisoners to go. If you read Isaiah chapter 12, the Bible says he is a man that doesn't allow his prisoners to go. 
If you are a smoker, he will never want you to stop because he wants you to get heart disease from smoking, to have a liver problem from smoking. He wants you to have cancer of the lungs from smoking so that he will finally kill you because that is his job. He's doing his work. His job, according to John chapter 10, verse 10, is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That is his perfect job. He doesn't know any other job than this. But today you can decide to set yourself free, to come from him to release yourself from his prison by this name the Bible said at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow you can begin to call Jesus today you can begin to go to his word and know the truth and the truth will set you free the freedom comes through the mind it's the mind it's the soul those things that is in your soul that will not allow you to stop smoking, to stop fornicating. The moment you have the urge, you must go and fornicate. And that is the generation. We call it you are degenerating. You are bringing them yourself to animalistic behavior, to a dogish behavior. When God has elevated your eye, when God has created you as a human being, in the image of God, the Bible said in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26, He made He them in the image of God. In the image of God. And that is that is what I'm talking about. That image that whenever it comes to you, the picture Whenever you capture it in your mind, you want to commit sin. That is exactly what the Word of God will change. The Word of God will build another image in your mind. Because we are a bit of image. We cannot do but to have image, to imagine, imaginary, imagine. You cannot imagine outside your knowledge outside what you know the knowledge of the truth is the one that destroys every evil knowledge in your mind every image that is set up by the evil one to keep you in prison to keep your soul in prison to bound you forever is what we are talking about today that Jesus is here to build another image in your mind. He said, be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be you transformed. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can renew your mind today. You can know the truth and the truth will set you free. The moment you come in contact with the truth, you will gain sight. Hallelujah. You will gain sight. You will gain knowledge. You will move out of darkness. That is exactly what the word of God does. So today you can decide not to behave like the Jews of those days who said Abraham is our father. We need no freedom. You need it. You need freedom. You need freedom. When the freedom comes, you will be free. When the truth comes, you will be free. Apostle Paul, we all know the story. We knew the story when the truth came to him blinded his physical eyes and from that moment he began to see spiritual things the light of God shone and every darkness disappeared 
That is exactly what Jesus does. You come to the light of the word of God and he will lighten your soul. And every darkness will give way. Those prison, imagine prison. A prison is a place of darkness, a place of restriction, a place of bondage, a place of no freedom, a place of measurement. They will measure the the the, the extent at which you can move. They will measure the food at which you can eat. Everything is measured because you don't have freedom. They will be restricted in an apartment in a particular place. Look at what that sin has done to your life. Restricted you from moving forward, from progressing, from prospering. The Bible says, I wish that you prosper, even as your soul prospered. Even as your soul prospered. The prosperity comes first in your soul. And that soul is the soul that knows the truth. It sets you free. It, it liberates you. It takes away every change around you. It breaks it into pieces. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God is so powerful. Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 12. It said, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing and sunder of soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You will never know how terrible you are until you come to the word of God. It is a discerner of thought. You begin to know that some of your thoughts are not godly. The word of God, first of all, shines a light in your heart shines a light it divides the spirit and the soul that's why some people will say how says the Lord when God have not spoken because the word of God is not there it is the word that separates the spirit the, the spirit and soul when they are presented together you might not know which one because they look alike but when the word of God comes in, it's too sharp to divide them, and then you'll see the separation of soul and the spirit. You will know exactly when the spirit is talking, and you will know when your soul is speaking. That's what he said. This word of God you're hearing today, the word of God that sets you free, the word of God that brings knowledge and sets you free and makes you free. From slaving of sin, slavery of sin is sharper than two edged sword. Sharper, not sharp as two edged sword, sharper than them. So it has ability to set you free, to divide you, to separate you from those friends that influences you to do evil. That is the word of God. Maybe you don't know how to come out of them. But today as the word comes to you. The knowledge in this word. Will separate you. From those that has influence. Wicked influence. Evil influence on your life. It, it, will, it, is, it, it will set you free. It will separate you from them. And that is the word of God. We are on the evil age where everything goes. But the word of God has the ability to shed light in your life and tell you the truth and the lies 
tell you the truth, separate you from every lie of the wicked, every lie is of the devil. He will separate you from them and set you free. And I pray that as you hear this word this evening, that the word will set you free and make you free. Let this knowledge come to you as you go deep into the word of God. Let the truth come into your life, come into your family, and set you free. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We just want to thank Pastor Chidi for that powerful word today. Freedom in the word. And we just want to remind our listeners that we can be found right here on Blog Talk and also on our website at www.sendme.eventpages.org Also, if you are a ministry, as in a gospel artist, a church, or a music ministry, or, you know, you have an event that is coming up, and you would like us to promote it for you on our website or on the station, you can email it to us at info at sendme.org.uk. God bless you. Welcome to Send Me. Uh, Hello. 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 Join us next time right here on Blog Talk Radio for another exciting episode.